Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and joining me. I hope you go ahead and click on that subscribe button and join the team. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. Really, really, really quick, I want to show everyone what I have been using on my skin because it has helped significantly with decreasing acne and pimples and helping improve my dark spots and my scars. And so for the most part, I only do three things throughout the day. Of course, I have a skincare routine, but this skincare oil, bio oil, I have been talking about lately on my Instagram. I did an Instagram reel, a YouTube shorts, and I also did a TikTok on what I have been using. And so this skincare oil helps. And it also says, at the bottom it improves the appearance of scars and stretch marks and then I always use my cocoa butter stick. I have been using this cocoa butter stick for like a good six months now. And after I do my skincare routine, because I use Fenty Beauty products, I just come on the back end and put this oil on my skin and I put this cocoa butter stick on my skin. And the most important thing that I have been using is drinking water. I drink water all day. I fill both of these Stanley cups up in the morning and I drink them throughout the day. And when I need a refill, I just refill them. When I get ready to leave to go do an errand or go to work, I put both of these in my vehicle in the cup holders and I drink one and if I run out of one I'll have a backup because nowadays water and purchasing water bottles have just been really expensive and so I just keep both of these filled when I get home I fill them up and right before I go to bed I fill them up because in the middle of the night if I get up to use the bathroom I tend to get thirsty like my throat is dry and so I drink water 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 I feel like even though I have been using the skincare oil and the cocoa butter stick, the water has been the most thing that I feel like has reduced pimples or me, you know, having an outbreak with acne or whatever. I have not had a pimple in two months and I feel like the majority or the main reason why is because I have been drinking so much water. And so I wanted to talk to y'all about that really quick and just let y'all know that that's what I have been using. I'm not saying that it's going to work on your skin, but I know it has helped me tremendously. And I feel more confident knowing that I can walk around without putting makeup on my face because I usually do my makeup every day, but I have not worn makeup for three weeks. And so enough about that. Today, I want to show y'all my Lorbe Plus JT collab shades that I got that I will be taking with me on my trip to Tulum. I also have to go run to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to stop by Starbucks to see if they have any new seasonal drinks for the springtime. And then on the back end, I'm going to come home and let y'all see what I picked up from Hobby Lobby lobby and show y'all my entryway decor if y'all are interested in having some entryway decor inspo i also did my bathroom but i showed y'all my bathroom on a previous video so if you want to see what that looks like then check it out check out my last video i'll link it down below and i might leave a card or something up here so y'all can check out that video if you are interested and so without further ado we'll go ahead and get started with today's video okay so this is what the shades came in i'm gonna do a quick spin of the box nothing too fancy it's just a white box i ordered these on the 19th and they came on the 22nd and so they have it taped up right here and as you open the box it has lord bay on the top of the tab and then you open and it says fashionably shading you is what this tab says and then as you open it the shades say jt times lord bay or JTX Lord Bay. For me, I say times because in the military, a X means like times or like math, you multiply. So I would just say JT times Lord Bay. You take the shades out and you have a postcard with JT and Lord Bay on it. It says, thank you for your support to your Lord Bay Bay. We are honored to have you as a valued customer. Lord Bay was created to fashionably shade you. We carefully select and design. Uh, so I don't want to read the whole thing, but that's pretty much the gist of what the card says. It says, thank you on the back. And it has her, has her Instagram. It has her website. And it says, fashionably shading you, the Lord Bay team. And then 
on the front side it has Lord Bay with JT and Diera on the front of the card and the only other thing that's in here is just basically the receipt and it has ship address from the ship address to the order number the date that it was ordered which was April the 19th and it has the description which it says uh, sunglasses the quantity is one and the item description Cunty slash velvet. I think I'm pronouncing that right. C U N T Y dash velvet. And so this is pretty much what came in the box. Now let's go ahead and open the shades and see what the shades look like. This is the front of the box, the side, this is the back of the box, and then this is the other side. JT times Lord Bay. JT times Lord Bay. I'm not really sure if you can see that. I'm in my bathroom and the light is really, really bright. But it says JT times Lord Bay. It comes with a sunglass wipe. It also has JT times Lord Bay, which is your sunglass case. And it just had plastic all around it. And this is what the shades are looking like, y'all. The side says Lord Bay. This side says Lord Bay as well. And on the front of the lens, it says Lord Bay. These are so freaking cute, y'all. Look how pretty. So y'all tell me what y'all think. The shipping I felt like was really, really fast. Again, I ordered these on the 19th, got them on the 22nd. Uh, the packaging is nice. It has JT times Lord Bay on it, which I keep all of my cases that come from Lord Bay because I feel like it's a collectible item. They are really cute. The packaging was nice. I also, every time I purchase shades from Lord Bay, get a sunglass case. Oh, I just realized that it has JT times Lord Bay on the actual uh, sunglass cleaner. So that's cute. Listen, this is, this is exactly why Diera did her thing with these so i really appreciate it i got these shades for my tulum trip for one and for two my birthday is on may 5th and so if you have a birthday in may or if not and you want to just tell me happy birthday go ahead and comment down below but these are what the shades look like y'all tell me what y'all think and if y'all will be purchasing a pair of these shades as well the name of these are called cunty c-u-n-t-y slash or dash velvet Before we leave the house, I wanted to get on here and show y'all my outfit. So I have a turban slash headscarf. I plan on getting my locks retwisted tomorrow, but I have not had a retwist in five months. And so I just been throwing on a headscarf, do-rag, or turban, however you want to call it, over my locks. My shades came from Shein. Of course, I have my Stanley Cup. I also have my pink one. This shirt came from Amazon. Shout out to A. Wilkie for the inspo. She had did an Instagram reel and a TikTok. Not sure she did a YouTube short, but I went and I seen where she had purchased this shirt and I was inspired. The material is really soft. It's really stretched material. I have worn this shirt like three or four times already and I will be purchasing like some of the short sleeve shirts just because the fabric and material is so good and feels so good. I got my sweats from Pretty Little Thing. They are extremely long. I am 5'11 for reference. My new balances came from Snipes in the mall. They were on sale for 30 bucks, y'all, 30 bucks. My purse came from ASOS. I don't wanna pronounce the name of it wrong, and so that's just what I'm gonna say. First, you know, I have on my jewelry, I have on my Pandora 
bracelet I have on my initial necklace. I have on my Apple Watch and then Jaden gave me a bracelet as well. And so this is pretty much my outfit for today, tall girl friendly. My turban head wrap came from Amazon. My shades, she in. My shirt, Amazon. My pants, pretty little thing. My purse, A-S-O-S. -S. My sneakers, snipes in the mall. My Stanley Cup, of course from Amazon. And my Pandora bracelet came from Pandora. My initial necklace came from Truly Blessed and my earrings. My mom purchased them for me, so I won't be able to leave a link for these. But this is my outfit inspo, tall girl friendly. If you are interested in rocking the same thing, I am 5'11 and I weigh 173 pounds. And I just wanted to show y'all my outfit before I head out for today. But this is what my shades look like. They came from Shein and they were gifted to me. I will try to find the link. If I can't find the link, then I'll try to find some similar shades, but this is my outfit for today. I am going to Hobby Lobby and Starbucks, keeping it real simple, real cute. Yesterday, I had on a jacket and I almost burnt up, y'all. It was like the low 50s, and then by the time two, three hours passed, it ended up being like 80 degrees. And so today, I won't wear a jacket, I just have on my long sleeve shirt. If I start to get high, I'll just roll it up but this is my outfit. I hope y'all like it. And I plan on doing a Instagram real TikTok and a YouTube short of this outfit. So make sure you are following me at AmeliaG5587 on my Instagram. And my TikTok is AmeliaDanielle3. And my YouTube is AmeliaTalks123. I am back. I went to Hobby Lobby and I walked in with nothing and I came out with nothing. It's just, I envision what I want in my head as I'm looking at it, but for whatever reason, it was not going together and I do not want to buy something to take it home and then not like it and then make sure I keep up with the receipt to return it. So the thing with roses is when I go to Food Lion or Sam's, the roses are already in, a, in an arrangement slash bundle and so I kind of already know what they look like versus me trying to go into Hobby Lobby and pick out individual roses or flowers. Um, it's kind of hard for me. I don't know how to like put them together to make them look nice and so I did not want to get them and then bring them home and they don't look right in my vase and then be stuck with not wanting to return them because y'all already know how we are when it pertains to us returning something like we'll have the receipt and everything and we just procrastinate and then next thing you know 30 days has passed and they're like well okay you can't exchange this or you can't return it and so I didn't want to waste my money um, on the flowers and so I did not I came across the street to Starbucks 
they have like these seasonal drinks going on the girl said that she could make me this strawberry something it's like a strawberry milkshake with cookie crumble and it does not have caffeine in it so I told her I did not want that one and so instead she recommended a pistachio latte and I got mine with coconut milk in the size of a what grande I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right and it tastes pretty good this is what it looks like it's a limited edition slash seasonal drink as well not really sure how long Starbucks will have this pistachio latte but it tastes really good it's not too sweet um it's not milky it I don't really taste the caffeine but I'm pretty sure that there is caffeine in it because she told me it was but I like it. I did see that Starbucks did have some new refreshers, like the spicy strawberry refresher, and it was another refresher. I had a refresher yesterday when I went to Just Love Coffee Cafe in Fayetteville, and so I didn't want to get another refresher, and so I decided to get the drink that she recommended, which it is good. So if you do go by Starbucks, go ahead and check out the pistachio latte. You will not regret it. I don't know what kind of milk you get, but I got mine with coconut milk. And so I'm going to go ahead and head home, show y'all my flower arrangements that I actually have right now and my decor and this will pretty much be it for today's video I have a whole lot of things that I have to do tomorrow like I have to get my hair retwisted I have not had my hair retwisted in almost six months my last retwist was November of 2023 right before Thanksgiving and so every time y'all see me with like a head scarf head wrap turban do rag whatever on my head that's the reason why my locks are really frizzy and I don't want to get constant retwist because I don't want my locks to then out and so I'm gonna upload a new video tomorrow or I'm going to vlog and record going to get my lots and stuff redone tomorrow I got some things going on over the weekend that I want to talk to you guys about and then I have something else that I want to share with you all I'm not sure if I want to like right now and so that's why it might be in the next upcoming videos and so if y'all are interested in figuring out or knowing what it is that I have to share with you all then make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all come back so turn on those post notifications and so when I upload a video y'all will be notified and so without further ado i'm gonna get out of this starbucks parking lot head home and show y'all my home decor so let's go hey y'all i just made it back home and i wanted to show y'all what i was talking about so these two vases came from z gallery in the size of a small for $19.95 and the large one is $29.95 i believe i'm not sure i can't remember off the top of my head but i will link them down below with the price but you can get them from z gallery this statue head also came from z gallery this elephant came from hobby lobby and the london box came from hobby lobby but what i was trying to do in hobby lobby was get some roses to put in my big bit base from z gallery and i guess i could have referenced these flowers because the arrangement looks really nice and i actually seen some flowers slash roses exactly like these in this same color and so i know i didn't get them today but i might go back tomorrow i just have a hard time trying to reference what a rose bundle would look like but this is pretty much how i got the roses when i went to sam's and these roses were in my bit z gallery base and I basically washed the vase yesterday and I cut the roses to fit inside of these two vases because the other vase is just so huge and is really really heavy once you put water in it and I don't want to break my entryway table and I don't want to break the vase and so that's why I am deciding to put fake slash fox slash artificial flowers roses in that vase but this is my entryway for right now sure came from Hobby Lobby. I'm thinking about getting one of those lights that has been all over Instagram to put above it because there's like no light here at nighttime. When the kids walk through the front door, the only thing we have on is just the front porch light. So I'm thinking about getting a light to go up there. I have this tree over here in the corner, which I'm gonna change that tree out with a vase that I seen from Z Gallery. And this is the frames that I got yesterday um, from Hobby Lobby. And the frames were on sale. I think I paid 25 for two. And then one of the Hobby Lobbies was sold out. So I had to go to another Hobby Lobby. So 25 times two, just add, what is that, 12 bucks. And that's the total cost for three, I would say 36. And the actual wall art came from Amazon. So I will link the wall art 
from Amazon down below and then the picture frames you can just pick up from Hobby Lobby. I did not get those from Amazon, but this is what I have so far as far as like my entryway decor. I'm still getting something slowly but surely. I don't wanna rush. I want everything to come together, but this is pretty much it. This is my entryway so far. I'm thinking about getting some rugs to put down here, like some runners and some ottomans to put down here and then that would pretty much be it for my entryway. I don't wanna do too much to it I don't want it to look too cluttered I'm a very minimalist person and so y'all tell me what y'all think and then y'all tell me if y'all have thought about restyling redecorating or getting rid of or adding to your entryway and your home just in general and if so what ideas do you have and what ideas do you plan on getting to redo your home but this is pretty much it I hope y'all enjoyed this video let me know what y'all think until next time my name is Amelia, peace.